given me. I really like the feel that the blue is giving me. So I am going to definitely do the blue. And yeah, I can't wait now to see this up in my bedroom. So I'm going to take this one down and put a, put, put, put a blue up. And then I am going to change out the legs. On the one chair that I have I'm gonna do like the two fronts so you can see how it's look and then when the other one comes I'll put those on the back okay okay guys I had to switch to um, voiceover because I had the TV playing and it had copyright music on it so basically what I'm showing you is the brand of the draperies um, I did get these for my client as well in a different color however she wasn't she didn't like the velvet look it wasn't you know her taste so we did return those and um she's getting she wants more of a polyester blend um she did this like after i left but again it's all what the client wants um i thought it would look really nice for the design style that she was going with but she um felt different yeah so when you'll see when that house is completed we won't be completed till probably the end of october but i do have a post video um, for the ins the partial install and stuff that we did this past week So you'll definitely see that but you wouldn't see the final install of that house. The house is gonna look really pretty um, She knows what she wants. She just didn't know how to put it together and that's okay. Some You know some clients are like that people are like that I should say and, and it's okay um, So basically I'm helping her put her vision together and I'm also allowing her to buy stuff, but you know, she lets me know, hey, I'm thinking I'm buying this, what do you think? And get my opinion on it. Certain things, you know, I, I let her, hey, you make the choice, it's, you know? And certain things I beg her, please don't buy that. <laughs> and she's very understanding. She has been very, very good with it, um, taking that advice and also saying, but I really want it. And then sometimes I have to step back and be like, does it really not look good or is it just that something you wouldn't use? So, you know, sometimes that, that happens. You know, the designer in me takes over and thinking that's my house. That's not my house. That child, she paid for her own house. <laughs> so, okay, let me take this down and stop chatting. But, yeah, I just want to let you guys, you know, again, I'm trying every video. Add a little bit of interior design tips in there for you guys. And I'm definitely going to be doing an interior design um, video for you guys, showing you guys how to start off a project, how to put your ideas together and so forth, okay? shut to show you guys how wide they are um of course i wouldn't do them like that unless you know i'm doing something and i need that privacy but this is to show you how wide these are and um they have weight in the in the leg in the seam so the seam has weights in them so these are falling really nice on the floor um they do need to be uh, steamed, but <laughs> anybody that knows me know I hate ironing, so it may not happen. I think I'm kind of liking it and not seeing the chair. I mean, tell me what you guys think. The chair is there, but I don't know. I kind of like it not seeing the chair.
me change your legs out on these chairs and then um we go from there so let's i hope they they should fit they should fit because it, the legs are universal so it should fit so i hope So definitely guys if you want to do this um these legs come in different heights so these this leg here is a seven and a half and these are seven and a half so you want to kind of replace it with the same height unless you're trying to make your chair lower a chair like that lower would be very uncomfortable to sit down in and these are the new legs and again what i did look at is the width the tapering all of that you know to try to come back because the, the chairs were designed um, to match this type of a leg that's why the designer put this kind of a leg on so I didn't want to go too far out from what the design intent was but I also wanted to get something where the scale so it matters the scale of this compared to this how it would have looked on that chair that chair is a kind of a bulky um, um, type of a chair so you need to make sure you have the right scale and that the weight is good too. So I am going to put this one on. I'm gonna put two on the front of this one and two um, on the back. So they come with that, then they come with that plastic piece on there. So I'm gonna put it on with this one, okay? Okay guys, so I wanted to kind of give you a little review on these. So like I say, um, that piece right here is normally universal to most chairs. Um, this particular company, that is the one I was going to get, but I felt, I just felt like it was going to make the chair look a little too traditional. Also, um, it does not come in the height that I needed it in. So yeah, I was glad I, I didn't get those. Um, they do send extra parts in it, so you have extra parts if this didn't work. So if this didn't work to screw in, you had other ways that you could have attached it to your chair. Okay? So they send these extra parts in there as well. What I am going to do... Oh! What I'm definitely going to do... Um, I'm going to store the old, um, I'm going to store the old legs in the zipper part underneath the chair. So, you know, if you ever want to change them back out, they're still there. I can still change them back out if I ever wanted to. Okay, I'm, don't discard them. They're not trash. You, you know, you never know. You might move them to another room and then this leg doesn't work for you. Okay? There is a stowaway zipper here. I'm just gonna drop these in there. And I wanna put these in there, the extra pieces that came. I'll put the four legs in this one. When I take those four out, I'll put them in this one. Some people don't realize that, but now when they're making these chairs, they're making this stowaway. So like when you order the chairs from, let's say, Overstock, Wayfair, um, any furniture store. Uh, to when you order your chairs, they put the legs inside the zipper. Even your sofas, your lounge chairs, they put the legs in here. Um, I had a client that had ordered. Uh, she ordered. We ordered the, the the sofa. The sofa came, but she couldn't find the legs in the box. So. We, she, she told me, hey, the legs are missing, da, da, da. I did not think 
about to tell her look under there because I figured everybody knows. So everybody does not know. So if you ever get a piece, look under here. If they have a zipper, most likely that's where your screws are, your legs, whatever attachments have to go on that piece. If it's small, normally they put it in here. She end up calling over stuff, um, telling them her stuff never came. They escalated. And then the one supervisor that came on the phone said, did you check underneath the chair, the zipper? And when she checked, the legs were there. <laughs> okay, so some people really don't know that that's how they're shipping stuff now. Trying to save on all the boxes and all that stuff, okay? <laughs> I want to give you guys a quick review on this. This is, um, I bought it off of this website that popped up on my Instagram. It said it was Joe Malone. Um, I do have a real Joe, Mal Joe Malone one, but it's a different smell. This, literally, I smell nothing. I'm not kidding you. Um, I, if I do this, I smell something, but it's not scenting up my room at all. So, it's a knockoff. <laughs> it's definitely a knockoff. Um, so, yeah. If you're not getting it from Jim Malone, leave it alone. Ooh, that rhyme. I got these from um, Home Goods. I bought two sets, so you'll see me also put them in my room. She said she running away She said she can't take it no more 